Welcome to another edition of Look Smarter Than You Are with Oracle Planning and Budgeting Cloud Service using EPM Automate Copy Snapshot from Instance. Today, we are going to demonstrate how to use EPM Automate to migrate a snapshot from a test environment to a production environment in EPBCS. If you haven't yet, I suggest you watch my colleague's video on this process without EPM Automate. You can find this video at the link provided. The general steps are the same as those for the manual migration. First, create a backup of the production environment. Next, create a snapshot of the artifacts in the test environment to be migrated. Then, use EPM Automate to move the snapshot from test to production. It should be noted, the environments should be put into administrator mode during this process, and it's best to run this process when it will have the least impact on users since access is affected during snapshot. So why should we use EPM Automate to migrate snapshots? Well, it's an easily repeatable process. It is more efficient if the snapshots are large and include data, and it can be scheduled. Let's get started. First, we're going to create a backup of the production environment. From the migration page, select Backup. Use a meaningful name. I try to include the application name, environment, and date. Now, log in to the test environment. Go to Migration Categories page, select the artifacts to migrate. In our example, we are selecting only one form to migrate. You can select any number of artifacts or all artifacts. Now that we've taken a backup of the production environment and we've taken a snapshot of the artifacts in test that we want to migrate, we have to update or create the script for EPM Automate. It should be noted that this can be done directly in the EPM Automate command line window, but it's typically easier to create a batch script. The script will log in to the production environment and copy the snapshot from test. The user needs to be an administrator and the password needs to be encrypted. Instructions to create an encrypted password are available at the link shown. Once you have created this script, it is easy to reuse. You can update the snapshot name with a new snapshot name and reuse it as many times as needed. The script can also be scheduled using common scheduler program. From the location that the script is saved, double click to launch. A command line window will open and show the progress of the script. After the script completes, go to the production environment and you can see that the snapshot is now available. Import the snapshot. After doing so, remember to return the environment to all users. In summary, EPM Automate can be used to simplify the process of migrating artifacts between production and test environments. It is easily repeatable and can be scheduled. The manual process requires the snapshot to be downloaded from the source environment to a local machine. Depending on the size of the snapshot, this could take up valuable disk space on the local machine. EPM Automate avoids this since the snapshot does not get downloaded. Here's another benefit. It is often useful to keep production and test environments in sync. This way, the test environment is up to date with processes and data, and the test environment can then be used for training and development purposes. The environments can be easily synchronized with EPM Automate, either on demand or scheduled. And yet more benefits. The script can be expanded to include other EPM Automate functions. There are commands to export and import metadata and data, managing users, managing the application, and much, much more. Documentation for EPM Automate and a listing of all the available commands can be found at the link provided.